Hey you guys, welcome back. Don't lecture me, I know it's been a while since I have uploaded. Now, I have been, let's just put it this way, right? The quarantine, COVID-19, I did end up getting tested because I had an ear infection and I expected fever. So in order for me to work, I had to get tested. But I am back now and I was negative, everything's good. I am sitting in my daughter's room for this video because sitting in my bathroom, and having this like big old jumbo bag, I was just like not comfortable. So I'm like, you know what? I'm just gonna take over your room for a little while while I record this video. You know, I'm not like big timer. I don't got a whole room just for YouTube and to be real. But anyway, so if you guys have been on my channel before, you will know that I have gotten a, I have had an order from the makeup, the pink makeup box before. The first time I ordered from them, the first and only time I ever ordered from them, I ended up doing a mystery box. That's all they were offering on the live stream that they did at the time. So I just opted in. I've seen so many people uh, write reviews about it. I've watched their lives many, many times and I was like, you know what? I'm just going to go all in. And I ended up purchasing a mystery box from them. I think it was 50 bucks at the time. I don't remember how it worked, but I was really not happy with what I got. I got like seven different lipsticks and I really don't really wear lipstick ever. I think I got this one palette that was totally for kids. I ended up giving it to my daughter and a thing of glitter and it just, I just wasn't happy with the purchase whatsoever. So I've been really, really hesitant about ordering for them again. So this time I wanted to give it a second chance. I went the additional route that they have. So they have two options. You can buy a mystery box where they put everything in your order for you. Whatever you pay, they double it. You pay $50, they give you $100 worth of product. You pay $1,000, they give you $2,000 worth of product. So whatever you pay, they match, whether you do the mystery box or the build a box. So the build a box is the one I did this time. I paid $100 and they match that. So this should be $200 worth of products. I did choose the items that I got. Not everything in here was chosen by me. I just put a list of some things that I wanted off of their website and then had them pick the rest. So I am excited to give it a second try, you guys. So that is what this video is gonna be about. If you're new to my channel, make sure you subscribe. Uh, yeah, this is a channel of variety. You're gonna see a lot of different things on here. And don't forget to like this video. All right, so like I said, I am familiar with most of the stuff that's in here, but I'm gonna let you guys also be the judge if you think it's worth the money, right? I paid $100, so should have $200 worth of products in here. They do, I think the prices are on the products. All right, so as you can see, this thing is pretty dang packed full and it's pretty dang big. So I'm actually really excited to start going through this with you guys. Put the bag down. I'm just going to pull the items out one by one. I'm going to open this up because it's another wrap package. And excuse me for the noise in the background. My husband is outside right now, air blowing at the carport. So let's see what's in here. Okay, so... First item, this is one that I chose. This is the Beauty Creations Cucumber Setting Spray. So I am actually really excited about that. I don't know if I picked this one actually. I know I picked the setting spray, but I don't think this was the one that I chose. So I think they gave me two setting sprays. We'll see. Ooh. Oh, Jesus, that came out a lot, <laughs> a lot heavier than it appears. Jesus, it smells good though. Oh, Jesus. So that is item number one. Uh, actually, I was wrong. The price of this is not on there, but you guys will get the picture once I'm done doing everything. So I'm just gonna put this right over here to the side. Um, there's two more things in here. These I did choose um, to be put in. They're $9 a piece. This one had the price sticker and these are liquid eyeshadows. And the shade that I got, basically silver and gold <laughs> but what they're called is um i got shade number two which is called i do and then this one is covered up by the price thing and then this one's shade number one uh north star so i did go ahead and grab these metallic glitters i put them well not metallic but they're liquid eyeshadow and i've never honestly ooh, 
owned liquid eyeshadows before and these just looked really really good and if you go to like a lot of different more higher up brands they're really expensive so i think that's probably why i never really got them honestly because i didn't know if i'd like them. i'm not going to spend 20 dollars, but yeah so i mean i don't know if you can really see that they kind of look shimmery but and they kind of look both the same color because of the lighting i am really excited to try these i did choose these so these are my choice and that's all that was in here. I think that's really weird that they were in this bag. Okay. Next up, we got, I did choose this product. This is the Prolux Pore Primer. So it's just a little um, primer container. I ran out of primer recently. My number one go-to is the Maybelline Infallible Matte Wear. I literally love it. It's, it looks and feels like sun tan like sunscreen but it just makes my skin like flawless and beautiful before I put my makeup on and even if I'm not wearing makeup and I'm just going out for the day I'll put it on my face it just feels so good and hydrating and I love it but I ran out and I'm like even today I'm wearing makeup without any primer I don't I'm not one of the big people that think that primer is a necessity um I do like to wear it but I don't have to wear it and since I don't have any I just figured why not grab some and try it out because your girl got some pores, all right, that need to be filled. All right, so next up, um, definitely not the one I chose. So this is the LA Girl Matte Eyeliner Pen. So this is a liquid pen. This is not the one I chose. The one that I chose was a pencil, so I could put white in my waterline, and that is not what this is, and this is $14, so I will probably honestly not use this because it's a liquid liner and I'm not going to put white liquid liner on my eyes. I might, but this is probably just going to sit on the thing. But this I did not choose. So we'll see if I still have the pencil in there. I don't know. Maybe this was a bonus thing that they added. One of the add-on items. I don't remember. But um, yeah. Okay, so this is the spray that I chose. This is uh, the Makeup with an Attitude Radiant Lasting Mist. So this one gives you like more of a dewy or finish is what it says and it's really cute so a lot of the makeup that I wear is matte so the foundation that I wear is a matte finish the concealer that I wear is a matte finish so I don't really like to use a matte setting spray because then you're kind of like for me I just feel overly matte my skin is already dry enough as it is and yeah so this is the setting spray right here the value on this it says it's ten dollars what a cute little box that is like that's super cute um I'm like literally over spraying myself. Oh, why are these spraying out so hard? Oh my God. When you spray it like in the air, it looks like it's a beautiful like soft mist, but it's like. Right in the eyeball. And this one doesn't have a smell. My eye feels wet. <laughs> so this was another item that I chose for the box. Uh, the other setting spray really did smell good though. It smelled like cucumbers and it smelled like really like uh, clean and like that fresh smell. All right, next item. I did choose this one as well. This is the Be Bella uh, Cosmetics Concealer in Light. Um, so this right here is kind of like the MAC paint pot thing. So it's kind of like the similar style of concealer. So I got this because I wanted to find something good to kind of use on my eyes. Ooh, this is really, really, really creamy. I think this is gonna work very well. Ooh, and it goes on it literally covering up my wrinkles. Amazing. I don't know if you can see it, but it's right there. So yeah, this, I was really excited when I seen this on their website. Um, I really think I'm gonna love this. Uh, this I think is gonna be great for uh, priming the eye, for a cut crease, whatever. Uh, the value on this right here was $10. And the shade that I got of this is light. Um, another thing I can tell you guys, if you go on the Pink Makeup Box website and you order their products individually, you are going to pay full price and you are not going to get your money matched. So the only way to get double what you're spending is if you purchase a Build-A-Box or a Mystery Box. So keep that in mind. All right, so the rest of the stuff that's in here is kind of packed together. Oh, not this one. Everything else is kind of wrapped together. So this is the last one. This is... They, I didn't choose this, they chose this. This is a makeup eraser. So I was actually kind of intrigued when I seen this. I saw somebody else get this in their box. So when I seen they added it to mine, I was kind of like, hmm. 
because it's like so it's basically like q-tips okay <laughs> that's basically what it is so what okay so it's like these three little like q-tip things on the top and they all just fell off let's see what's on the other side okay so this one is like a wet side with like some makeup remover in it to kind of clean up a spot or whatever and i'm guessing that, that is for drying you get three um inside jesus inside of here that's how they came in okay i have no idea how this is going to work out you guys the value on it they said is nine dollars it says it is a surgically precise makeup eraser by Rude Cosmetics, so we'll see about that. I don't even know if I'll try it, to be honest. I might just play around with it, who knows, but yeah. All right, you guys, so here is like a bundle that's in here, so we gotta open this up, which is actually, I think, a good thing that they do this because I know there's some like, like palettes in here, um, so just for, you know, more protection and the shipping, that's great. And another thing I can say about this order is it came a lot faster than my last one. When I got the mystery box, it literally took like three weeks to get. Um, this one came actually pretty quickly. So I think they're improving on their shipping. Yeah, there's a few items in here. Okay, the first one, I did choose this. This is the Shine Crime Anti-Shine Blotting Powder. So it's basically like a setting powder, but a pressed powder. It's not a loose powder. Um, the value of this is $12. I'm not familiar with the brand, I'm not familiar with Rue Cosmetics, but I've used something like this before and I really liked it. Other than the translucent, I got the lighter shade. So it's just kind of like for setting your face without having loose powder. So we'll see how that works, but I did choose this item, $12. All right, next up, this item was chosen for me. I did not choose this one. This is the Unicorn Dust Trim Beauty. I'm thinking this is a highlighting palette. Um, it's a $14 value, and yes, it is a highlighting palette. I didn't really want highlighters, that's why I didn't choose any. I'm not mad that they gave it to me, but I have so many highlighters, they take forever to go through. So, I mean, the shades are pretty uh, decent on here. So, that more pinkier tone right here, the uh, fantasy tone, I will probably use like for uh, cheeks, but these are really good shades for me. I think they will um, go nicely. They are nice and smooth. We'll see. Try that out. I did have some like small miscommunication with my order. After I put in my order, I asked her on live, hey, there was something that I realized I don't want. Can I take it off my list? She's like, yes, message the page before I get to your box. So they call out order numbers on the live. So as they call them out, um, if you're on the live, they will box it for you. If you're not, they're still going to box your order, but they'll uh, message you the timestamp on when it was done in case you want to go back and watch it. But, um, so I did that, I messaged the page like she told me to and I asked to have this removed and at the bottom of my list, I did put, please have Ida, who was the girl doing the boxing, choose uh, the remaining items if I haven't exceeded my amount with the items that I chose. And I said, can you please add this item on my list before Ida chooses products? And they did say yes. And then I realized as they were doing my unboxing, they did not. Um, she just kept adding stuff and not the stuff that I wanted. Um, at the end, which is fine, but there was um, some brushes that I wanted that I don't think I got because they told me it was already packaged when I asked again. Uh, so, whatever. It is what it is. And I got a palette that I didn't want that I asked to be removed. So, we'll see. Um, so, these two, one of these I asked for. I can't remember, but they added the second one. These are blush and bronzing palettes. They are Rue Cosmetics No Filter 3D Face Palette. Um, the bronzing one is uh, called Stars. Like, they are so cute, you guys. Here's the shades right there. It is a bronzing palette. It's got the bronzers and then a highlight as well. And then this is the blush palette and it is called Roses. I know these are newer products that they just got and here's the shades right there. So I don't, I mean, I have some really good brush blushes and bronzers. I do know I added one of these. I just can't remember which one. So these are both worth $14 a piece. So the last thing I have is this big old bundle right here. We're gonna go through, Let's see. Okay, next up, this is the eyebrow shadow. I don't think I chose this. Um, on my order, I did put a brow pomade and a powder that came together. 
and that was sold out so i'm guessing they replaced it with this instead because the price value was the same but i did not um choose this this was chosen for me but like i said probably because that one palette was um or the, the pomade and the powder combo was sold out so this is the eyebrow shadows uh pro Lux palette it's got four different shades of brown i do want to open it though because i want to see what they look like because the colors on the box can always be deceiving god this is hard to open okay why is this so hard to open golly okay so it comes with four different shades of brown and a black and it has two it has a spoolie pencil and then like a brush pencil i'm gonna take these out so they don't fall off but it comes with these two little uh brushes and then here is the shades right here so this one's kind of like a black shade the lights are like making it really bright but the browns are actually a lot darker than what they appear on camera but i think i'll try this out i mean as you see i do my eyebrows <laughs> okay so this palette right here was chosen for me i did not choose this palette this is the hello summer pro Lux palette super super cute here are the shades um i actually really like those shades i'm more of a neutral toned type of gal so this palette was 15 dollars. so here's the shades right here they actually look pretty nice i'm not gonna swatch or anything um i'll just try them and see what i think my dog's always gonna bark in my videos, you guys, so sorry about that. All right. This is the palette that I asked to be removed out of my uh, box. This is the Trend Beauty Like a Boss palette. Super cute packaging. I am not gonna lie about that, but I really, I'd rat, I wanted to get brushes over this, um, but whatever. I mean, the shades are okay. I just, I don't know. It just doesn't look like good. I don't know. I can't explain it. So I have enough eyeshadows. I have a lot of palettes. I don't, I didn't want this many eyeshadow palettes. I got three in this bag and I did not want this many. So it is what it is. But here is the shades right here. Kind of more like burgundies and pinks and stuff. So I probably won't use it, but it's fine. Like I said, I did have it on my list, but I asked for it to be removed and they told me it was already packaged after they told me they would, but it's fine. Um, this palette is $18. All right, and the last item, which is a palette that I asked for, I see a lot of people ordering this brand off of the pink makeup box and everybody says how great it is. It is one of their most expensive palettes. Their most expensive palette that I've noticed is $25 to $30. This one is $25. This is the Cara Beauty or Cara Beauty. Cara, Cara Beauty. But she is Spanish, so maybe she was just pronouncing it that way. I don't know if it's Cara Beauty, Cara Beauty, Cara Beauty, whichever. Um, but this is the prof Professional Makeup Palette uh, ES6. Um, I'm not going to lie. The quality of it does not feel good. And I'm having really, 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 really bad anxiety. Because there's eyeshadow all over the palette, you guys. You see that? Look at that. Oh, my God. Please don't be broken shades. Please don't be broken shades. Nope. The shades are fine. Oh, there is some chippings in here. Uh-oh. So this is like a really beautiful palette. Um, but as I don't know if you guys can see it because of the lights. I'm going to take this off so I can show you. There is some chippings. Um, this shade right here has a little chip in the bottom of it. Um, this one looks like a finger has been ran through it, and so does this one. But yeah, I'm getting eyeshadow all over me from the palette. Even though it was bundled up nicely. I'm thinking this one, because it wasn't even uh, the tape that was holding it closed, has been cut. So I'm guessing this might have been one that was like, they have a lot of their palettes up like this. Like, diagonal sitting up on display in their shop behind them when they're doing their lives. I'm thinking this might have been one of those palettes because it's definitely been opened before. Definitely been opened. That makes me kind of worried about using it. I was really excited for this palette too. 
Always gotta be something. Okay, I'm gonna put this back on so hopefully no more powder falls out. It's all over me. Yeah, I mean, you can even see, I don't know if you guys can see it, but like you can see the um, eyeshadow is all in here. That's how I knew something was off about this. Like it's all in here. I don't know. I don't know. I don't want to assume things, but I, I mean, the look at the box. Like the box is all bent up. I definitely think this one was open before. So it is what it is. I just hope nobody that opened it had coronavirus. <laughs> yeah, nah. I'm just kidding. <laughs> all right, you guys. So that wraps up my box. So in total, I got 16 products. I am actually kind of happy about the products that I have. I can't wait to actually try them and test the quality to see if they are good. To give you guys the pros and cons, obviously the pros are you get double your money. That is always great. If you walk into uh, Ulta, Sephora, Target, anywhere and spend $100 for makeup, you're not going to get 16 products. You're probably going to get like four. So that's always a plus, being able to get that double money of what you spend. And with the Build-A-Box, you get to choose the items that you want. So that's also a pro that I have. And I like how they did try to replace the stuff that I asked for, like the eyebrow kit. They replaced that. Instead of going completely out of the wind and getting me something that like I didn't want, like lipstick or lashes or something, instead of doing that, they just tried to replace it with something equally as good or equally for the same feature, like my eyebrows. So I did appreciate that with the eyebrow palette. Um, I'm not too happy though that I got this the white liquid liner. I know they have to have a white pencil like they have so many pencils So for them to give me this um, over the white pencil and this was a $14. Yeah, I didn't like that too much Not having the palette removed and replaced with something else like I was told would happen That's another uh, con and then of course the Cara Beauty palette Looking like it has been opened before. I don't like that either but um, overall, I am happy with the purchase now as far as the products go. I don't know. I will use them and probably uh, share some stuff on my Instagram story. So if you guys do want to kind of see how the products wear or my thoughts on them as I use them, follow my Instagram, which is uh, I am Ashley Carrillo. It's my name, just I am in the front. And that information will be down in the description box. So yeah, you can always go there. I really appreciate you guys for taking the time out to watch this video. And the big question, <laughs> am I going to order from the pink makeup box again? Honestly, I don't know. Can't say yes, I can't say no. Again, I love that they double your money. That's great. But I really want to try the products first. Everything can look great and the, the prices can be phenomenal. But if the products aren't good, then it's a waste of your money. So, you know, sometimes going the cheap route isn't always the best route. So I will try these products. If I like them, I may possibly shop with them again. If it's like half and half, maybe next time I'll get a smaller box and just get a few things that I really enjoy just to get that double money. Now the smallest box they have is the $50 box for $100 you get a uh, double. But um, yeah, don't forget to subscribe and thank you guys so much for watching. Have a wonderful day. Stay safe out there and yeah, bye guys.